Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to be talking about something called personification and we're also going to be talking about one of the animation principles called uh, squash and stretch. And the best way to explain is to show you, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a quick scene here. We're just going to jump to our front view by hitting one on the keyboard. And we'll get rid of this guy if we don't need it. What we're going to do is we're going to create two spheres so hit shift a go to mesh go to uv sphere there you have it we're going to move this guy up a little bit to about there and then we're going to move it over and we're going to hit uh, shift d to duplicate it we're going to move it over here and we're going to hold x to snap it to the x grid here yeah? there you have it okay so we got two balls right here. Now the idea, and let's get rid of this right here. The idea to begin with is we want to simulate the ball going upwards, okay? First I'm gonna do it in a way that doesn't make sense at all, right? And normally a ball wouldn't go upwards anyway, but nevertheless, right? And then in the second situation, we're gonna talk about personification and we're gonna talk about squash and stretch. All right, so we've got this guy. We're going to go to our slider here. We're going to set the frames to, let's say, 20. That's plenty, all right? Okay, so we've got 20 frames here. We're going to go in. we got the thing selected. We're on frame 1 or 0, actually. We're going to hit I on the keyboard to keyframe that. Then we're going to scrub to 20. We're going to move it up here to, let's say, right there. And we're going to hit a keyframe once again. There you have it. Okay, we're going to jump back to our beginning and we're going to hit play. Okay, ball goes up. Now, this looks completely dead, right? There's nothing going on there. Now, let's look at the second ball here. What does personification mean? Well, personification means that you are assigning lifelike um, characteristics to something that's inanimate, right? Let's say you have a ball, a ball isn't alive, okay? Now, what you see in cartoons and in animations all the time is that they give inanimate objects lifelike features. That's kind of what that is. And what we're gonna do here is the squash and stretch. Now, if this animation were reversed, it would go from top to bottom, right? We could introduce squash and, tre and stretch, but it wouldn't necessarily be personification. As it goes up, it kind of has to because a ball wouldn't go up by itself. Okay, so we're going to go to this guy right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, keyframe it. Okay, so we're on frame zero as the one before. Yeah, we're going to hit I. Then we're going to go to, let's say, frame three. And don't look at this guy, it doesn't matter. Frame three, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our transform tool and I'm going to start to squish that down and also move it down. Okay, and then we're going to hit keyframe. Then we're going to move to frame five and what we're going to do now is we're going to start to raise that up. We're going to squish it in. Squish it up like so. And slightly raise it. And then we're going to scrub a little bit. Okay. And then from here, we're going to go to, let's say, seven. We're going to raise that up. keyframe once again okay let's go to nine or so actually let's go to eight because we're picking up speed right and we're going to keyframe that again all channels is fine then we're going to go to let's see what we got here that looks all right Let's go to nine. Uh, 
and then we're going to go to 10. And the highest point of our ball is one step up, right? So we're going to go to 11. And then up here, we're going to have it settled down, okay? So we're going to go to 12. And here, we're going to start to squish it back. And as you do that, you need to understand that the overall volume has to stay the same, right? So we're going to go up here. It's hitting that mark. Okay, and because we're now hitting a kind of invisible ceiling, we're going to go to 13. And we're going to stretch that out a little bit. And we're going to make it thinner. And then push it up, like so. And I forgot to keyframe that, so let me do that again. All right, keyframe. Let's do one more. And then we're going to start to flex that back towards its original original shape. So we're going to do something like this. Let's make sure it doesn't go too high. Something like so. 16. Let's have a look. Okay, we're going to go back to its original shape, slowly. I'm going to stretch it one more time but this time a bit less. And then we're going to squish it back. And that frame we're going to do on 20, actually. So let's get back to round. OK, so let's see what we get. We're going to hit play. OK. So the one on the left here is completely dead, right? The ball is going from the floor straight up, which in itself is, of course, pretty much impossible. And what we're doing on the right here is we're taking that ball, we're kind of building in momentum. It's like the ball is trying to build up energy. And as it moves up, it starts to stretch out. Then it hits that invisible ceiling squashes a little bit it recovers it gets back to its original shape and there you are right so let's hit play there you have it now again this is called personification uh, if it were a ball just falling down then it would be squash and stretch most likely as you would see in a normal ball if it was a little bit floppy but in this case it's personification 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more things like this. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I would appreciate if you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye. Thank you.